I, I think for me to say yes, <laughs> I have to say no when I'm not feeling the right feeling, but then to say yes, I want to give. And yeah, you want to give, you want to connect. I think, the, but this idea of, of no private thoughts is important in the sense that if you've been conditioned to, if things are censored, you know, Freud called it a superego, like the voice of morality and the voice of what should be good and right in the society, he called it the superego, but if, if things are censored to the point where you always are biting your tongue or you're holding back and holding it in and trying to smooth things over and there's a lot of tension and turmoil underneath there, then for me the first step is you must stop playing hide and seek with these feelings. I had to. I, I was very much into denial and repression and I had to spend years getting in touch with my emotions and and letting them come into the surface. It was intense. You know, that's I could see why I pushed them down. I didn't want to deal with the intensity of that. Like for example, the last time that Francis and I came to uh, Sweden, we were you were there, we were up there and you know, we went in and we walked in and uh, did the introductions and everything, and already the first night there was a lot of emotion there because they had hired a chef to do the food for the whole group and there was no butter, there was no cheese, uh, I forget what kind of diet he was... Uh, okay. living, living food. Living food, okay. Yes. They had a living foods diet for the you course. Know, I was there. For, you remember, for the whole course group. Yes. And I think 80% of the people were upset the first night. You know, already they'd had their first meal. I got in late for that. They're like, I go into the kitchen and they're like, can we talk about the food, David? Can we please talk about the food at the sessions, you know? I hardly had time to say hello. And they were already you know, in Sweden, no butter, oh, and no cheese. Oh. You know, it, was, it was just, you know, frightening. <laughs> they called it living diet. These people were dying. Uh, you know, psychologically, they were dying on the first night. But this is what I mean, that's what we, we did talk about, about the food, you know, because let's, we have to talk about our emotions. See how much faster we will heal if we just talk about it, you know, if people voice their emotions and don't want to be too polite, even though they're like 80% of them are angry, you know, not try to be polite for me or for the others, we, you know, it's a good way to work in. It was such a healing when the cook came in on Sunday and it was so much love and he stood there and he was bang. So it was wonderful to practice like that. This was a very yeah. good example. Oh yeah. To was, see preferences. preferences. Yes. Because I went in the kitchen and joined with him and he was just all glowing and he was and he, so happy had to provide his living diet. <laughs> in his food, he, he was giving the best. He oh yeah, he such a love for this food. He yes, he was, he was giving the best he could offer, and eighty percent of the people there were furious. <laughs> so this is a good example. That's all for healing, you know. And perfect for a course in miracles mm -hmm. gathering or retreat to have something like that come right up on the first day, and imagine how how your relationships would heal so much quicker, you know, if you were just completely open. I mean, people always tell me, well. If I was that open on the first date, I would not have a second date and I would not have a relationship <laughs> to talk about. But actually, when you get into relationships and, and you're very forthright with things, even the smallest things, it, it can be very, very helpful. Because then you can start taking responsibility for your state of mind, not looking to another body to provide you happiness and peace and all kinds of other things, but just really doing the mind training and being very forthright about those emotions. I think that's that's the fastest way to start to undo some of that egoic people-pleasing. Yeah.